it's actually a real skill and why I say I think it's your most toxic trait to be able to turn the table and make other people question their own like sanity and reality because of <laughs> your trust issues sometimes. Sanity. I'ma say it. Some of some of the Scorpios have made me question my own sanity. Like truly because they be gaslighting you. Raise you your know? hand if a Scorpio has made you question your insanity. Everybody I, on the other screen I is think, raising their hand. I think I see something. Everyone else. <laughs> guys, it's your girl Sarah. Am I? And we're charmed and dangerous. Oh, you know, because we be charming. And we dangerous. Uh, 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 Scorpio, you didn't think we forgot about you, did you? Because we did it. No. Just because we late, no, right. we, we did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, either way, if it's your first time here, hello, welcome. Okay. We have a whole series on this channel where we talk about each sign's most toxic traits. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it gets a little deep, it gets a little harsh, it gets a little funny. Uh -huh. So if you want any of that, go ahead and stick around. I mean, let's just get started. Let's tell yeah. the people. You might each pick, you know, one toxic trait. We don't always talk about what it is. Mm -hmm. If we happen to agree, it is what it is. But we don't always agree. Mm -hmm. What trait did you pick for most toxic for Scorpio? I picked manipulation. Mm. Your manipulative nature. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What'd you pick? I picked um, our trust issues. Mm. Since it's your first time here, I'm a Scorpio, yes. Mm. Yes. But we're gonna forget about that for this Okay. Week. We're gonna take, <laughs> take ourselves out of it. Out of it. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, I picked their trust <laughs> issues, and I would just like to say, I feel like ultimately every toxic trait that Scorpio has, in my eyes, it comes back to the trust issues. Mm -hmm. Like the trust is so low mm -hmm. that like it just manifests as some of these crazy toxic traits like jealousy, anger, manipulation. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you know, it varies, but yeah. Yeah. I ultimately think it all comes back to that. Yeah. Lack of trust for the world and for people. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Let's get into it. I love exactly what you're saying because I feel like that's actually one of my main points about Scorpio. I feel like, to me, they need to manipulate because they feel that's what keeps their partners close. You yeah. know, and like you said, it ultimately stems from a trust issue thing. They yeah. feel they can't trust their partner if they don't know where they're at all the time, what they're doing, who they're hanging out with, you know? But Scorpio, you have to remember that like you being paranoid in this way isn't necessarily going to make someone actually loyal to you. At all. You know? I, I also <laughs> have to change what you said about partner and say everybody. It's not Yeah, just, no. I personally yeah. don't think it's literally about No, partners. it's not. I think a Scorpio placements are possessive and jealous over partners, friends, friends family, family yeah. someone they just met that didn't do them right. Like, they're just, uh -huh. like literally, they're, like, literally. <laughs> their boss. No, I don't know why I just said partners because I literally put partners, friends, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, it's not just anybody can get it. Yeah. Because they want to control um, that situation because to me, ultimately too, like, Scorpio is very much driven by power, mm -hmm. right? And to get power, they will manipulate people. For sure. And it, I think it also comes back to like safety. Like Scorpio says, I will not feel safe unless I am in control of you and you and you and you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, you had me in the first half. Like I will not feel safe until like do everything you can to make, you know, yourself feel safe, Scorpio. But if you need to control everybody and make sure everyone's doing right by you at all times in order for you to feel safe, you should probably reconsider that you are the problem. You know what I mean? If yeah. you will only feel okay once everyone is controlled and contained, that's not healthy. You know, you almost have to believe in people and believe that they, I say almost, I mean, you should believe <laughs> people and believe that they won't, you know, do wrong by you. Yeah. Um, and honestly, my thing is, so I pick trust issues and I feel like I almost always, I'm a little better now, a little, um, assume that like people have the worst intentions. Like I genuinely have always believed that and it was very hard for me to change that mindset from my childhood, you know, cause I just have gone through some shit and I just feel like most people 
have cruel, cruel intentions. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like, like I said, once you've been betrayed as a child, it's really hard to see the good in people. You almost have to work extra hard. Um, and again, it's toxic because Scorpio uses the trust issues that they developed as a child and brings it into their adulthood and their, and, you know, teenage years or whatever it may be and punishes everyone else that, you know, is in their life. Even if they didn't do anything wrong, they will still punish you because they feel like it's justified. Mm -hmm. And if you stick around after they have punished you and tested you, that means you're really in it. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Is this boot camp? Like, like what the fuck is their test? Literally, like, it's, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's too much. No, it's true. And, I mean, it's actually a real skill. And why I say I think it's your most toxic trait to be able to turn the table and make other people question their own, like, sanity and reality because of <laughs> your trust <laughs> issues sometimes. Sanity. I'm going to say it. Some of, some of the Scorpios have made me question my own sanity. Like, truly. Because they be gaslighting you. Raise you your know? hand if a Scorpio has made you question your insanity. Everybody I, on the other screen think, is raising their hand. I think I see something. Everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone watching this video, oh, I have geez. been personally victimized by a Scorpio. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Again, I'm not here. Yeah. and I, I was just, about to have the rebuttal, but I'm gonna shut up. No, but I really, and it's true though, like for the Scorpios who are watching, I just want to remind y'all that when you're really shining, you don't need to control and manipulate people in this way. You know, you have this intoxicating energy already. You don't have to do too much to force people to come to you. You know, actually when you're like doing less, they flock to you more. They're like dying to be around your energy. So just remember that you don't have to like do all of this extra shit to like get them to think that you're on your, or what am I trying to say? Get them to trust you. Yeah. Or for you to trust them. Yeah. I feel like um, also it's your most toxic trait because the world is ultimately what you make of it. If you see the world through a lens of distrust, then that's the energy you'll manifest. And Scorpio is known for their magnetism. That is one of the key words that is associated with Scorpio. So you could really be a magnet of anything. What kind of magnet do you want to be? Mm -hmm. You decide that. So you just have to be aware of people's energies and intentions, you know? But stop assuming that the universe around you is bad and scary. And mm -hmm. Scorpio, you already have really, really good intuition. You know what I mean? Your energy is always picking up on shit that no one's really talking about. So if, as long as you just trust that energy within you, you don't really have to have these trust issues and like be looking around like you're always paranoid. And ultimately, you know, feeling the need to manipulate people to see if they are to be trusted like that's so much energy mm -hmm. you are literally an unpaid detective <laughs> you know what i mean and at the end of the day scorpio i know you are all about that money so why are you doing the work for free honey like you know what i mean like all that energy that you put towards stalking people you know what i mean or fucking <laughs> or you know trying to like trip them up in their story or like you know what i mean these things these things that scorpios do and they're operating on a low vibration that's a lot of energy that you could be you know spending doing things that actually bring you love and fulfillment and joy yeah and i i just feel like scorpio's like and i've been there where we have the energy and we know we could find some shit <laughs> and we do but what what did you get out of it besides pain you know yeah i'm sorry it, it is painful when you find something you don't want to find mm -hmm. and we're just so good we'd be finding shit you do and even if what you did there was nothing wrong with it we have a way of like making it wrong yeah and that's where that manipulation taps in mm -hmm. like the people really thought like no there's no way scorpio could actually make me feel guilty for this thing that I, I did nothing wrong. <laughs> and Scorpio will be like, well, I actually found this one perspective. Mm -hmm. And once I explain that to you, you will feel so low. Yeah. Because you betrayed me. And now I'm going to walk away and you're going to chase me. And they do. And that's why I <laughs> And they do. <laughs> it's true. And I want to say, obviously, not all Scorpios are manipulative or shady, right? But in many cases, they can be seen as manipulative because Scorpio and its ruler planet Pluto are all about power and control. And it's a higher expression of power and control 
in my opinion, as compared to Mars. Like, I feel like Aries, they're, like, yelling at you and, like, listen to me! And I feel like Scorpio is much more methodical and, like, diabolical in their planning to to end you. And that's the difference between these these two signs that have a lot of things in common and they're, you know, fighting for their love and stuff like that, but how, to me, they differentiate and where that manipulation and higher thought comes from. Absolutely. You know, Aries is the outward energy of Mars and Scorpio is the inward energy of Mars. You know, like, I, I, Scorpio doesn't want you to know the plan. <laughs> who said there was a plan? <laughs> Aries yeah. is, like, screaming the plan at yeah. you. Like, you know what I mean? They have a fucking big-ass microphone yeah. <laughs> and Scorpio's in the back. Like, you know, again, trust issues. Why would I share the plan with you? Mm-hmm. And I would say sometimes Aries is too trusting. Mm. <laughs> Facts. They put, <laughs> they back a lot of people they shouldn't be backing. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say about Aries. They believe in people more than they believe in themselves. Whew. Yikes. This was not about Aries. I didn't know when this so became a little mini Aries <laughs> round. <laughs> Scorpio was like, I'm again, not like that. <laughs> I want everyone to also know, again, like what Maya said about like, not every Scorpio is this. No, and we're not talking about every Scorpio. We are talking about Scorpio the sign uh -huh. and that energy when it's operating at its lower vibration most and expressing toxic. its most toxic trait. Mm -hmm. That is what all these videos are about. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about your little friend that's a Scorpio <laughs> and this is her. This is what she does. And maybe she does. But it's not just about her right. or people. It's about the energy mm -hmm. when it's operating at its lower vibration. Mm -hmm. And how it be sending them low blows, exactly. you know? Exactly. Like when you are triggered. Uh -huh. Really? I would say that for all of these yes. signs in this series. How do they act when they're triggered? Yes. When they're not okay. Correct. I focused a lot, obviously, on Scorpio's manipulation and how it can be a negative thing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes manipulation can be used for good, okay? So, because manipulation so. is a type of social influence, right, at the end of the day. And I feel like Scorpios sometimes um, help lead people to decisions that they maybe don't see for themselves yet. Like, Scorpios are very um, emotionally intelligent and also socially intelligent. You know, like, they be picking up on people's vibes and stuff. So, they can maybe see where you're maybe too scared to ask for help or ask for what you really want. And a Scorpio can help, you know, push you and lead you in that direction. Um... But, Scorpio, only do it for good, you know, and and when maybe when people ask you to, you yeah. know, or if you clearly see that they're needing help. Like, I feel like some people can, again, it can be a manipulation and you can easily take advantage of people. So don't abuse the power, power that you understand. have. understand, yeah, you know? and influence mm -hmm. people's emotions. Because you can. So and you do. <laughs> Not that you do. can, you do. It's you a do. fact. Yeah, no. Like, you, like, we always talk about how Scorpio energy, when it steps into a room, if they're happy, everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. If Scorpio is mad about something and nobody even knows why or when or how, but Scorpio walks in and they feel it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, like, that power can ruin nights, can ruin days, mm -hmm. can ruin, you know what I mean? Vibes. <laughs> So, also be aware of that. You yeah. know, if you're mature enough, I would think that you would want to stay away when you're feeling that way. Mm hmm You know? But if you're not mature enough, you will use that power to manipulate people mm -hmm. as you walk into a room with that energy. Mm hmm Okay, my last point for you Scorpios. Um, I don't know if you guys are here still. <laughs> There's like no Scorpios like I can't watching. Listen anymore. It's everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last point four, the Scorpios. You never know who you might meet that will change your life for the better. But your trust issues prevent you from accepting any new energy into your life. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you guys, but that's scary. Like I don't ever want to miss out on something or someone or a situation that could have, you know, been the next phase of my life. Th that person could have been the person that shows me the next path that I'm about to be on. Mm -hmm. But because I don't trust them or because of my past trust issues, I'm not welcoming that energy into my life. I'm kind of shutting it out. It's like waiting at my door and I'm not even opening it. Mm -hmm. That is honestly something scary that I think about. And like that's what ultimately led me to like changing myself and really just kind of accept expecting the best in people. Again, I read the energy. I read the room still. 
but I'm not gonna assume that people always have the worst intentions with me. Mm -hmm. And I ultimately think like that's when the best things happen in your life because the universe really blesses you when it sees that you're open and receptive to new energy. Mm -hmm. You know, trust issues prevent that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes Scorpio, you know, you have to cut the people that you've been trusting for so long in your life. You know, like sometimes Scorpios don't realize that they have like snakes in their own garden, you know. And when you cut those people out and you allow new energies that you don't necessarily know and maybe seem scary to be trusting, they're going to be way more down and riding for you than this person who's been in your lawn for years. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just never know. And I'm glad you said this and reminded them because, yeah, like... Scorpios can sometimes be very apprehensive to opening up and chatting with new people, but you guys have such beautiful energy. It should be shared more with the world. It should. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this episode on Scorpio's most toxic trait. Um, comment down below on what you think their most toxic trait is. If you didn't think it was one of ours, I don't know why. I'm just kidding, but I want to know. <laughs> um, we're going to link our socials somewhere around here. Don't forget we post our videos usually on Mondays and Thursdays and our podcast every Friday. We love y'all. Hope you've been enjoying Sagittarius season. See you later. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.